Oh, I can't wait to hear how the repellent's working. Just a few? Well, I'm sure it'll be good enough. So, how did my chemical repellent work? Safe and clean like a charm, I bet. Explosive, you say? That's kind of impressive, actually. In a horrible sort of way, at least. I guess it's back to the drawing board for that repellent. I wonder if I can make it into some sort of fuel. Anyway, I'll just take that. Oh, but for your trouble, um, here. Have the leftover chems from working on the repellent. I'm sure you can find some use for them. Yes, knowing more about them can help people learn to avoid or even outsmart them. So I picked up this observer device to study them in their natural habitat. I need you to hide one in one of the spawning pods in their lairs. That's great. I recommend the nest at the Anchorage War Memorial. I knew a trader who talked about the Meyer Alerts down there. Just go inside and find one of their spawning pods, probably down near the water. Put this observer inside and get out quietly. And be sure not to kill any Meyer Alerts inside their nest. If you do, it could ruin the validity of the study. Good luck with that research. So are they intelligent? Okay, yes, they're ch Do I ever... What do you need? Good hunting! You got caps for me? Sure thing! Good hunting! Remember, I'll buy whatever you're selling.
You looking for the mayor or the sheriff? What's up? Anything interesting? So, are... Oh no, you didn't rile them up, did you? Because I'm not getting a very good signal from the observer. I think they buried it in the mud. Oh, I really hope that was just mud. Anyway, you saw them, at least a bit. What are your observations about them? Interesting. I wonder if the toxicity of the water caused their mutations and forced them to adapt to the ground as well. I wish we could have gotten more information, but this will have to do for the book. Here's your pay. Maybe they'll help you be sneakier next time. Correct as always. And your feedbacks really led to a very smartly written book. Maybe too smart for some folks, I worry. Of course, if the reader can't be bothered to understand something important as a book on how to stay alive, then what can we do, huh? And in case those readers blame you for their ignorance, here's your payment. Two big boxes of ammo. Now, on to the next chapter. The last chapter is a bit more esoteric. It's about the survival of humanity as a whole and how to rebuild society. Deep stuff, huh? We need to know how large settlements are formed, how to harness the old technology, and I'll need you to get ancient history from a nearby library. We're in the last stretch now, so let's finish it up strong. What's first? It does, doesn't it? I mostly just deal with it after it's junked, but a trader gave me this Robco processor widget said it's worth a fortune. According to him, if it's connected to the mainframe in the Robco factory, you could have access to all the robots you'd ever want. Now that would be a great example of how to harness technology, wouldn't it? Yeah, you should just be able to plug it into the mainframe at the Robco production facility. It'll give you access to the robots and terminals. Okay, here. And be sure to keep an eye peeled for any other examples of how to make old technology work for you out there. Come back soon!